So, since I was a child, I was going back and back in time, trying to remember. Europe is, uh, in what I know, what I remember about the planet as a living being, Europe represents the heart. And um, this is something that is very weird when I tell this to the world, because usually we relate the heart with love and with um, compassion and with uh, uh, hugging each other and being more connected to the earth. And uh, when people see how these cultures in Europe are, they say, but this is more mind, like it's not connected to the heart. But <clears throat> sometimes we confuse heart with emotions, which is not the same. The heart basically is tick, tuck, tick, tuck, is the pulse. So it's not emotion, it's just the beat that keeps everything moving and alive. So it's not related to love or emotion. It's related to keeping the right uh, uh, time, the right path, and um, be aligned with the clock of time and space. Um, uh, because I've heard this, this thing that um, some people saying that Europe lost their track of what it means to be connected. But actually, if you take a look into, uh, into the facts, uh, Europe got to unify all the different countries, different religions, different points of view with many languages as one nation that are all connected in one union. And uh, in the Americas, we couldn't do that. It's, it's still impossible. So who is actually building the rainbow, uh, the rainbow bridge or the rainbow nation? Um, who is opening the doors for that? So we have to sometimes think that it's not uh, just the, um, the native in the other, in, uh, like in the American, that has the whole truth. But all the truth needs to be together. Like it's not one or the other. Some will help us connect with Earth as the others connect the mind. And both together are creating uh, the tools. So I think that the Rainbow Nation uh, is happening right now in every part of the planet but we are still trying to somehow figuring out who is right and who is wrong, which is not the point. And the point is how to put together, to put together all the tools that each one of us have discovered. If we don't act according to what we feel, if we don't feel according to what we think, we don't think according to what we do. So we have a conflicted being that cannot manifest a new reality, that is constantly trapped in this loop.